Hola, buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? Good night. Well, I'm so tired. Ay, every, everybody's tired. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> We have a different things to do, but always is, is I don't know, if those days are eh, tired, <laughs> heavy. Yeah. Um, I have a week very heavy. Hi, okay, there you go. <laughs> Hello. Hello, and I was like, yeah. how, how are you? How are you? <sighs> Pretty good. What about you guys? Like always tired. Tired. Yeah. And always, why? Why are you so it's, tired? It's a heavy week. Heavy week? Wow, really tough one. Yeah. Believe it or not, mine are the same. The same? It is the same? Yeah. It's, I, I, I have sitting in this chair all day long. Also, really? I, I never get up. Never. Not even not even to have breakfast or lunch? Yes, but I run to the kitchen and, and get a jo yogurt and uh, an apple. And and right now I have a church meeting. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, so I I I you ate, ate my dinner uh -huh. uh, in the meeting. Ooh, my husband is still is still in the meeting. Uh huh. And I say goodbye. I have a class. <laughs> bye bye. Wow! Really? Yes. Whoa. Oh my God! But can, you cannot be in the Zoom also. You're in your meeting, no? Y yes, but uh, the others, my husband's son, Zoom. Mm, you cannot connect it to your cell phone by any chance now. If you have the ID, for example, the ID and the password, maybe you can be there as well. No, 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 I don't want to. Yeah, I say goodbye and I. Ah, okay, and okay. I with you. I, I mean, for I you. mean, for next so, time. Uh, I I have a meeting on Monday. Uh -huh. uh, every 15 days uh, on Wednesday. Okay. And. And all the Thursday. And all Monday, Thursday. Monday, Thursday. Okay. Uh, Thursday. Okay. That's why I can I, I can do the in this class. Mm -hmm. But uh, this weekend, this week, mm -hmm. uh, I say I can. I can be in, in, in all meetings. Mm -hmm. I have to take my class. So. <laughs> okay. You cannot change the, the dates? No. No, I can. I okay, cannot. there's already it's established. Not. Yes. Okay, but if for some yes. reason you have a church meeting is really, really important, just let me know. Thank you, but, but not right now. Okay. It, it, it start as, at six. Oh, at, at six? Woof. Yes, and, you're and, still... and still there. <laughs> wow, that's a, that's a long one, right? <laughs> yes. You see, well, Mister, but thank you so much for being here and make the effort, okay, Colleen? I really appreciated that. No, thank you, thank you for your effort. I'm for just, us. I was double checking. Thank you so much for sending the homework. Late, <laughs> late, but... but at least you send it, which is really good. Okay, hey, how was the experience? Was it good? I ask you to do that because I just want you guys to double check your writing. Okay, you're right. Mm -hmm. And what will be that is one of the ways. I just want to know if you sometimes forget the capital letters or the comments mm -hmm. or the exclamation marks, right? Or you can't you get you get into confused with birds, for example, with borrow and with land. Like me, teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, no, I'm I'm not I'm not telling you that I'm not talking about anybody, right? No, no, I'm just talking about in general. <laughs> yeah, it is because that happens, right? Borrow is the action you're thinking I want, but if you ask somebody to do uh, to give you something, you can you lend me, not can you borrow me? No, can you lend me. That's the opposite way. Mm -hmm. And yeah, somebody is is telling you, yeah, I can borrow you. The person that you ask the favor, I can borrow you. But if you ask that person to do something for you, can you lend me? 
Okay, that's different. The person who's asking the favor, can you lend? The person who is doing the favor, I can borrow you, right? That's that's the difference. I just wanted to clarify that because, okay, I want you to use it correctly. Well, I appreciate it that you make a really great effort and I really appreciate it. There were just uh, uh, just little mistakes, right? No, like, no way, no. Just little ones like call mom, uh, one verb, like punctuation, like that. But, and also capital letters all the time, guys, even though you just, for example, you, you use the, I am, right? Or I am, like the appro abbreviation of that. Um, doesn't matter where is in the sentence at the beginning and the middle of the end, whatever. Well, most of the time it should be in the beginning or the middle. When you use I, it's always it's going to be in capitalized. Even though it's, for example, hi, Daniela, I was wondering, or oh, I, that I is in capital. All right, because mm. you're talking about yourself. So always will okay. be in capitalized. Okay. So don't don't use the lower cases. That's really, really important. All right. I'm That's talking right. about I, right? Yes. Yes, uh, Miss Ernestina, right? Yeah. No, it's Irene. Oh, yes. excuse me, Irene. <laughs> okay, good. Go ahead. Could you please explain me again about uh, borrow and lend? Yes, for example, lend. If when you're asking for something, for example, let me let me uh, let me use you an example, okay? Uh, okay, uh, Irina, could you lend me your black pen, please? Yes. Yes, uh, I can borrow to you. I can. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I can. It's the same. I can give it to you. I cannot okay. take. Uh, can I the borrow? The whole sentence. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, um, uh, yes, I was um, making a mistake mm -hmm. because I wrote the whole sentence and, yes. and it's a, a short answer, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay. Yeah, and sometimes you're like, ah, I do it a thousand times. No, just as I said, relax, stand up, do something yes. else, come yes. back. Your mind, your mind will be fresh, and then you will yes. be better thinking. Yeah, yes. that's just what it is. I know, I know. That's not, but that's the way he learns. Okay, thank you, teacher, yeah, for no. the question. <laughs> yeah, I was in a minute of one, another, a different call that you <laughs> cannot so imagine. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I was double checking something with an insurance company thank by the time you. you send a message, but that's thank okay, no problem. Thank you, teacher. As I said, I'm not going to answer as uh, right away, but I will answer as soon as possible. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> no, thank you because uh, that what you did a really excellent job today, guys. Um, I'm congratulate you because for the effort of making all uh, the homework for today, but also I'm so happy because today we're going to practice something really important. <laughs> is 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 don't <laughs> Lenin? <laughs> <laughs> you cannot imagine what a landing phase it is right now. <laughs> Hi, Lenny. You're screaming? No, no, don't worry. Take it easy. It's got, everything's going to be fine. We are, Today, we're going to ask for favor, right? For favor. But, and we already learned that um, using like model verbs, if causes, and gerunds. But, Today, class, we're going to learn something really important. And basically, what we're going to learn today is um, also to make indirect questions, indirect regrets, or requests, sorry, indirect requests. For example, I don't know if that had happens to you guys, but somebody called at home, right? It could be uh, your uh, landline. You know what landline I Landline or landline? No? You know no, what that? Is? Okay, know. landline is the the telephone that you have at home, the physical one, the big one. The uh, landline is with cord. Exactly, yeah. the one that was curved. Exactly, that is the landline. Okay, yeah. that is what we call landline. Landline. Alrighty, like that landline. That is that is like a telephone of hijo, <laughs> right? That is what it is in English. All right, so, uh, and let's say that they called, right? And you were in lunch time, but right now we have, most of the time we have lunch at home, like Elena was explaining to me, right? But let's say that um, somebody calls you and you are not there. 
and somebody else took a message for you. Okay, that had happens to us many times. Like, hey, daddy, you know what? Uh, this and this uh, person call you, and they said that this and this and this and this, right? Or if you have, for example, when you're at, uh, at work as well, maybe you were not in your spot in your work area, and uh, your boss call you, right? Or send you a message, but you were not there. Or if you work, for example, in, uh, in an office, they're always a receptionist, is that right? Yes. Yes. And you said, oh, can I can I talk to a uh, Mr. Lenin? I'm sorry, but Lenin is not here. Can I take a message? You see? And and you start taking the message and somebody else uh, give you the information that it was supposed to be given for Lenin, but Lenin was not there at, at the time that other person called, right? So that's what we call indirect request. Somebody call. You are not physically there and somebody else took the message for you, okay? So that's what we're gonna learn today, how we can do that. We can do it guys on direct um, request with many ways. We can do it for statements, uh, imperatives, just no questions, WA questions. And for each of them, we have a way to transform that sentence into indirect request. We do have it. It's not the same. It is different. But don't worry. It's going to be fun. Okay? Lenin, don't get panic. <laughs> we're going to do writing practice, but at the same time, guys, we're going to do speaking practice, and it's going to be so much fun. So don't worry about it. Uh, we have to say hi to Mr. Hernandez. Hernandez, very good. Hi, how were you with me since yesterday? We have Carito, we have Alex, we have Ernestina, Danny, Salomon Aguirre, and, um, and Paquito. Yeah, that's cool. That's awesome. Thank you, Paquito. Good evening. Thank you for the homework. <laughs> very good. Okay. Ooh. Thank you. So I, I heard that there was like a buzz, right? Like that. All righty. <laughs> no, I heard that, that it was a bus coming on. Like, like that. I heard a bus sound or a car sound. I don't know. Uh, a, a car passed right behind me. Right behind you. Uh, yeah. I, 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 uh, the door is behind me. So oh, I okay. That, that was, I was like, who's that? Okay. No, that's cool. Don't worry about that. I was like, oh, where is it? <laughs> that's nice. Okay, guys. But right now, we're going to start this topic with a listening part. <laughs> and this is going to be so much fun. So I want you guys to do me a favor. Let me check. Okay. Okay, we're going to talk about, could you tell Jeff? That is going to be the phrase, the common phrase in this listening part. Could you tell Jeff? So basically, guys, this poor receptionist uh, is going to listen to messages uh, for Jeff because Jeff is away at lunchtime and she's going to basically um, take all the messages. Actually, guys, it will be six messages. So this is what I want you to do. I will send it to you right now, the messages. Okay, so you will have it with you. You don't have to write it down on a piece of paper, but... Um, and then what I want you to do, guys, thank you, Paquito. <laughs> okay, you also sent the information. There you go. And also, guys, I want you to um, complete that uh, request, okay? Because there will be like um, spaces that there is not going to have like words. And I want you guys to pay attention on which word they use it, okay? So let me just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna send it to you right now and then I'm gonna explain it to you. Okay. Do you have it, guys? Yes, you do? Yeah? Yeah, cool. All right. So you can you see that we have like uh, six statements, right? Or six questions there. And um, you know, we have questions and we have statements. We have the two things there. So basically, what I want you guys to uh, to pay attention, can you see that the questions and the statements are not complete? Yes. Yeah, we have some uh, spaces, right, that there is missing information. So this is what I want you to do. Okay, try to um, 
listened carefully, but if you can double check the instructions, I send you the instructions also, guys. We're gonna listen to the messages Jeff assistants receive while he's at lunchtime. And guys, the spaces, you don't need to invent anything. You don't need to invent. All that I want you to put is either ask or tell, either or. Only these two words, ask or tell, okay? Okay. And then we're going to double check in which ones we use ask and why and which one we use tell and why. Because that is another word that many people tend that I can confuse. Okay. So also we're going to learn that. So guys, are you guys ready? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Energy. Yes. Luisito. Welcome, Luisito. All righty. So let me share right now my screen. This time, guys, I'm going to play that two times, okay? okay? There you go. Page 19, exercise 9, perspectives. Could you tell Jeff? Part A. Listen to the messages Jeff's assistant received while Jeff was away at lunch today. Complete each request with ask or tell. 1. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? Two. Could you ask Jeff what he would like me to get him for his birthday? Three. Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? Four. Please tell Jeff that I owe him an apology. I forgot about our date last night. Five. Can you ask Jeff to return my call? I need to know when his report will be ready. Six. Could you ask Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night instead of Thursday? All right. That was easy, right? Easy peasy queasy. Yeah, yeah not complicated. Okay. So, yeah. uh, Alex, number one, can you please be so kind to read it for me? Okay. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? Very good. Excellent. And good intonation. Very good. Number two, uh, Kalena. Sorry. Um, could you ask Jeff what would like me to get him for his birthday? Very good. Excellent. Excellent job. Number three, uh, 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 Danny. Yeah. He's picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? Very good. Excellent. A good intonation. <laughs> Carito, number four. Please tell Jeff that I owe him an apology. I forgot about our date last night. Very good. Uh, no, no, no. But please do me a favor, Carito. You need to feel like you're sorry about that. Come on. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Come on, be nice. Just number okay. four. Please tell Jeff that I owe him an apology. I forget about our day last night. Okay, I forgot. I forgot. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Good one. Good try. <laughs> okay, very good. Number five. Uh, 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 Paquito. We cannot hear you, Paquito. Your microphone is off. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. Excuse me about that. That's okay. Okay, that we're number five, you say, right? Yeah. Okay. Can you ask Jeff to return my call? I need to know when his report will be ready. Very good. Excellent. To return. Very good. Excellent. Very good. And last but not least, Mr. Hernandez, would you like to try? Would you like to give a try? A try? Okay. Could you ask Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night instead of Tuesday? Sorry. Uh, okay, do it again. Okay, do it again. I'm uh, really here. <laughs> uh, could you ask Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night oh, no. instead of Thursday? Very good. Instead of Thursday. Excellent job. All righty. Very good. Now, guys, do me a favor. We're going to listen it again. Congratulations. You did an excellent job. Uh, that was easy peasy queasy, right? <laughs> that's good that is one of the easiest listening right yeah okay but that's good you did a really good job and congratulations for the pronunciation of the words and from the question intonation very good job guys okay now 
let me give you something. Okay, we're gonna listen again the conversations so or the six messages, but I want you guys to think about something. Who do you think left each message? Who? Who was the person calling? Okay, I'm going to share right now with you a one, two, three, four, five, six possible answers. Okay, and I want you guys to let me know which one is for which statement or which question. So let me just a couple of minutes. There you go. I don't know who called Jeff. Maybe his boss, a friend, the teacher, his mother, uh, his young sister. I don't know. Okay, you want to listen again? You ready? Yep. I sent it to you. Do you have it already? The possible choices for who called Jeff? You have it? Yes, yes. Yep. Okay, cool. Yep. Okay, cool. So let's start. Page 19, exercise 9, Perspectives. Could you tell Jeff? Part A. Listen to the messages Jeff's assistant received while Jeff was away at lunch today. Complete each request with ask or tell. 1. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? 2. Could you ask Jeff what he would like me to get him for his birthday? 3. Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? 4. Please tell Jeff that I owe him an apology. I forgot about our date last night. Oops. 5. Can you ask Jeff to return my call? I need to know when his report will be ready. 6. Could you ask Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night instead of Thursday? All right. So, guys, okay, what about number one? Can you ask, no, can you tell Jeff, right, that tonight's having, a, uh, Tony's having a party on Friday night? Who said that or who called? His friend. His friend. His friend. His friend. His friend. Very good. What about number two, Alex, what you have for me? Who do you think uh -huh. called? His mother. His mother. Very good. Kalena, what about number three? Number three, uh, her, his younger sister. Mm -hmm. sister yeah. Very good. What about number four, Luis? Luis, Luis. Yes, and uh, number four. Uh, please tell Jeff that I owe him an apology. I forgot about our date last night. Yeah, but who you, do you think called and left that message? Who? who? Who was the person? Was his girlfriend? What? I sent the, the possible answers, uh, Mr. L um, Lewis, on the WhatsApp group. Uh, ah. Ah. The right answer would be his girlfriend. Uh-huh, very good, excellent job. And what, ab what about number five, Lenin? Um, his boss. His boss, you're right about that. And number six, uh, Irina? <laughs> Miss Irina. His teacher. <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> like you, right? Like the teacher you have right now. And thank you for the donation, his teacher. <laughs> very good. Excellent job. Yeah, so you think it was not too bad, right? Uh -huh. Today, guys, we're going to learn how we do that. But let me ask you something because most of the times, hey, guys, do you notice something? Who can tell me when, according to the information that we just um, listened, uh, practice and also re put the information that was missing on the sentences who can tell me when do we use ask and when do we use tell guys have you noticed that we use ask when we are going to make our request yes but all of them are requests lucy all of them no when you say tell you you are informing that something happened or, or will happen i think maybe i'm wrong part yes and part no lenny 
Uh, sorry, Luis. Yes, all of them are requests, uh, Luis, because I was, I was explaining to your classmates before you came, uh, basically we're going to learn requests, how to make indirect requests. Like the example that we just listened, the person that was supposed to have the messages, the person was not there. So the secretary or the assistant took all of the messages from all of the people who called Jeff. So that is what we call indirect requests. So basically guys, yes, most of the time we're going to use ask with uh, questions and tell with answers, but depends. Today we're going to learn guys uh, how to make indirect requests for different things, for statements, for imperatives, for a just no questions and for a WH questions. Okay, that is, there are some examples that what we have done right now, there are some examples about them right now. Uh, I don't know if you can detect them or not, but if not, don't worry about it. We're going to um, check each, each one's individually, okay? So you cannot get confused, all right? Alex, go ahead, Alex. Okay, the, the first one, when, 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 we, uh, when we say, when we say uh, tell, mm -hmm. like a, a statements, right? Mm -hmm. We use tell and, and if we ask, we using ask when we make a yes or no question. Ah, aha, very good. Aha, very good. Okay, yeah, you have an idea, Mr. Alex, which is good. Okay. Yeah, with the just no question, you're right about that. That's what I'm going to teach you today because depends of which is exactly the, the regular message that you have, it could be a statement, it could be an imperative, a just no question or a double question, depends of which one you use, that is the way that you transform the same message into an indirect question, okay? Or indirect request. So that's why I'm going to teach you individually because it depends. If you're using, for example, uh, Jeff, uh, don't forget the drinks for the party. For example, that is an imperative. Don't forget the drinks. How am I going to transform that request into an indirect one? We're going to see this today, okay? Or for example, if there's something that says, Jeff, Tony is having a party. What, what, how we can transform that into a request? The one that you saw on the listening part. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? You see, that was an indirect way. So that's what we're going to learn today, okay? I'm, I'm going to share right now with you. And um, don't worry, don't get panicked, don't get frustrated. Kalen is like, <gasps> my goodness. No way, don't worry. Don't worry, L Lenny has turned it off the camera because it's like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, don't worry, guys. I'm going to go step by step, okay? And you'll see that it's easy. It's not complicated. No. Mm. Alex, yes, it's true. It's easy peasy queasy. You will, you'll see. You'll see. Okay, so let me share right now my screen with you. Let me check this one. Yeah, there we go. Guys, can you see my screen? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to send it to you, okay? So don't worry about it. But first, what I want you to focus, or we're going to focus, guys, let me change right now the color. There you go. We're going to focus on here, right? Statements, that is the first thing that we're going to do. Don't look at the rest. Just put attention on your eyes on the first thing. Can you please be so kind, guys, to read for me the first sentence? The one that say statements. Thank you, Alex. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Jeff, Tony is having a party. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is the regular message, right? Jeff, Tony is having a party. That, uh, that message, guys, is like if we have Jeff in front of us. For example, uh, let me go back. Imagine that I have Alex physically, right? That is the first, the first one. Jeff, Tony's having a yeah. party. It's like if you have that person face to face, like you said, hey, Alex, Paquito's having a party. You see? Mm -hmm. That's a statement. That's a sentence. But that would be direct message because I have the person physically. But, it, the, but we're going to learn how we can do that same sentence, 
but the person is not physically in front of me. I have to give the same message to somebody else who's going to repeat the message later. Okay? Yeah. You got it right now? Okay. So yeah. the sentence is, Jeff, Tony is having a party. Okay. Let's go back. Let me share right now with you. There you go. Okay, guys. We're come back. We're back. So how can we transform that? Take a look. Take a look at this one. There you go. You see? Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party? Okay, you yeah. see, we're going to translate the statement into that. But I want you guys to take a look at something. Bear with me for a moment. Okay, we said, could you tell who? Jeff, right? Because it's the person we would like to talk about. Yeah. Okay, also we have that. I'm going to write it down right now because I'm going to explain it to you that Tony, hey guys, remember that Tony is a, is a um, proper name, so it's got to be in capital, right? right? Having a party. I got a question. Wait, uh -huh. I have not uh -huh. finished. Uh -huh. I have not finished. Uh, sorry. Uh huh. Hmm -hmm. Wait a minute. Hold your horses. <laughs> All righty. So, there you go. Can you tell? Can you tell Jeff? Okay, this is the part that we're going to add, guys. We have that in parentheses. And what we're going to add after that? What is the message, guys? That Tony is having a what? A party. Exactly. That is the message. So basically, what we're going to do is to add that. Can you tell Jeff? Le puedes decir a Jeff. Can you tell Jeff? And guys, have you noticed something? I want you guys to notice something. Have you noticed, guys, that, uh, let me check here. Let me put it in a different color. There you go. Yeah. Have you noticed, guys, that that it is in, the, in capital, you know, it is in parentheses? Yeah? Why do you think is that? Because it's optional. Yes, exactly. Carito, right? Yes. Yes, exactly, guys. Because it's optional. You can say, could you tell Jeff that Tony's having a party? Or you can say, could you tell Jeff Tony's having a party? And that's it. So let me double check something really quickly. I'm going to share with you. Okay, guys, the first one, the first one, Jeff, Tony's having a party. This one is the direct message, right? Like if I have Jeff in front of me. But in this time, Jeff is not in front of me. So I have to provide this message, this one, the one that I'm highlighting right now, to somebody else who's going to give the message to Tony, or in this case to Jeff, when he comes back from lunchtime. So if you, what would be the formula, guys, for this one, for the statement? What would be the formula? The formula will be, could you tell plus, let me check the plus here. Okay, here, plus. Uh, the object in this case is going to be who's going to who, the message who's going to then we have mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that but it could be optional of course and then we have guys the complement or the message in this case the message who's, hey, oh wait a minute who's, who's doing that noise hi guys Who's doing that noise? Do you know? Who's doing that noise, guys? I think it was somebody, right? But no anymore. <laughs> All righty. How do you say uh, mensaje in English? How you write it, guys? Message. Mm -hmm. Message. M E. S S S A G A G E. Very good. Exactly. And of course, I don't have to forget that. That compliment. So in this case, we have could you, right? There you go. And then we have the message, which in this case is this one, right? Let me check. Oh, no, it's going to be here, this one. There you go. Where is the color that I found? 
Well, let's put in a different color. Okay. Right now, right now, somebody has a questions right now on this one. Uh huh. I th I thought it was somebody who's going to ask a question. Okay. Somebody has a doubt right now on this one. No, we are clear. Like water or like horchata? <laughs> Teacher. Yes, Paquito. That's why I came back. Yes. Okay. I honestly uh, had a call from a customer, so I you were like, didn't uh, listen uh, about what you say. Okay. So let me let me repeat it. Okay. It will be really Thank easy, peasy, queasy. You're welcome. Okay. So so in, in this case, Paquito, the direct message is Jeff. Tony's having a party, right? Like if I have Jeff in front of me, but in this case, yes. Jeff is not here. So I have to provide okay. that message to somebody else who's going to give it to Jeff later on. So in this case, okay. I'm going to uh, make it like in a, uh, as a question, right? Or a request, an indirect request. So in this case, I'm going okay. to use, could you tell? Then I have the object. In this case, the object is going to be Paquito, the, the person who is going the message. In this case, it's going to okay. be Tony, right? Tony is the one. We're going to have that. Okay. Uh, of course, you know that it's optional, at least in this one. And then we're going to have the message. What is the message, Paquito? That Tony is having a party. So if you follow yes, this, mm -hmm, if you follow that formula, it must be Jeff. Exactly, because it's the object yes. of the message. Okay. So in this okay. case, you will say, could you tell? Of course, the object in this case is going to be Jeff. We have that okay. as an optional. And then we have the message. What is the message? Tony is having a party. Tony is having a party. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Understood. Okay. Let's. Uh, would you want me to give you another example, Thank guys? You You're welcome. Any other? Would you like any other example? Okay. Cool. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, we still have in mind the party scenario. Okay. So what would be? Uh, the, another another sentence that or another statement that we can use we can say jeff okay jeff is the person jeff okay um uh-huh what we, what would be another statement that we can use for jeff don't be late ah but that one would be imperative uh mr um, alex and oh, we're okay, still in okay. a statement we're still in a statement okay. uh-huh um, it could be Jeff. The party is going to start at eight. Okay, uh, the party will start. Will start. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, he's going uh, to because you're sure, right? He's going yes. to start at eight. All right, and very good. At eight p.m. Okay, guys. So how can we transform that into an indirect question or indirect request? Could you tell Jeff um, that, right, or not, that the party is going to start at eight? Uh huh. You see? You see that? Mm -hmm. We got, you see, we follow the statement. We have, could you tell, right? We have Jeff, that is the object, right? I'm going to put it also in, in black in red color. We have that. And of course, guys, we have the message. What is the message? The what is the message? Is on, mm -hmm. is going the to start, is going to start at 8 p.m. Exactly. Exactly. So you see, we only add guys when we're all talking about indirect requests, making a statements into our indirect request introducing by that, which in this case is the one that we use here, you see, that. Um, all that we got to do is add, could you tell? And then the object, which is going to be the person who is where we are leaving, leaving the message. And then basically the message itself. That's it. Do you think it's complicated? Can we use that can also? Yeah, you can or do can it. You can, can you tell? tell? Can you tell? But it will, but it will be better. Could you tell? Because it's more polite. Why? Because, for example, Alex, uh, we are talking about you. You are in this in this sentence. 
for example, the first one, right? The first one about the, the party. That was a friend, right? Yeah, friend. So he, he was really close relation with Jeff. But the, the person who he left the message, in this case, the Jeff assistants, Secretary, it was yeah. so. It's secretary, somebody that he doesn't know. So mm -hmm. it would be better could because it's more polite. Can is when you are like together with somebody, right? Remember yeah, that okay. yesterday we. Oh no, this week we saw that for more formal to less formal and vice versa. So could will be more appropriate. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that's cool. Yes, you can. But I will be more much better could. Now. Uh, are we clear on this one, guys? Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. Now, yes, Alex, we're going to move forward to the second one. But Mr. Uh, Luis, so far, do you have a question? Or you still have the question that you were asking for? Luis. Don't be here. Huh? Luis, don't be here. What happened with him? I don't know. I think, a, I don't know, maybe. Maybe he uh, had something to do or had a, a bad connection, maybe. Maybe, okay, maybe. Okay, guys, let's stop with Shaquille. Maybe he's going to join us later on. Mm -hmm, that might be. Okay, very good. So, hi, Blady. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, so let me go back and also share with you the second one. I think Ernestina already sent it to you there, the square, right? On the WhatsApp, can you see it? Yeah. Okay, cool. So it's, it's better. Thank you so much, Ernestina, yeah, because you will you have do. it there. You're welcome. Okay. So now let me erase this one. And we're going to, let me erase it. No, no, let me check here. I'm going to erase this one. Um, let me erase this one. I want you, want you to get confused. All right, now guys, let's do something. Now let's check it out, the second one. This one, mm -hmm. this one. We go with imperatives. Okay, guys, do you remember what, when do we use imperatives? Or what are imperatives for? Do you remember that? No? Uh-huh. For example, I said, uh, Carito, don't forget your homework. What am I saying? It's like an order. It's like an order. That's exactly right. Exactly. Very good. Mm -hmm. So basically, okay, if we have an imperative like this one, Jeff, don't be late. Okay. How can we transform that into an indirect uh, request? Okay. So let's pretend that this is the direct message, right? The direct message. Jeff, oops, let me go back to me and open here. Jeff, don't be late. Okay, don't be late. All right, now let's do it in the undirect, undirect request. Undirect message in this case. Okay, okay, so check it out, and request. Can you tell Jeff? Okay. Can you tell who's the object of the message? Jeff, right? Jeff? Yes. Not to be not to be late. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm going to tell you the formula right now as well. So I want you to pay attention to this. We have, of course, can you tell plus the object, which in this case is going to be the person who is going to the message, in this case is Mr. Jeff. Mm -hmm. Then guys, we have not, and we have the infinitive of the verb, okay? Let's do, it. Let's do an example. Mm -hmm. And you see, guys, let me check, let me change it into colors. There you go. Can you tell we have different colors? Then we have the object. Let me change this color as well into this one. And then we have not. Let me put a different color here. 
Okay, and then we have the infinitive. Let me check this one. Okay, there you go. Okay, guys. So you see the first one. Can you tell? Always, always you got to do this one. Now we have the object. What is the object, guys, of the question? What is the object? Or who I'm sending this message to who? To who, guys? Jeff. To Jeff. To Jeff, exactly. Very good. Now we have that particularly not, right? Not. And then we have to be late, which in this case is going to be the infinitive. You see? Be late. Of course, B is going to be the, the infinitive. However, guys, I have to let you know something. This is, um, I can say that this is um, negative. Is that right? Can you tell Jeff not be late? Is it right? This is a negative question or a yeah. negative uh, request. However, you can also use, um, you can also say positive. Mm -hmm. For example, let's pretend that we are still in an imperative, right? So let me let me teach you guys, or let me share with you uh, what will be an example of a positive imperative. Okay, still guys, we're talking about parties, um, environment, okay? So there's another one. Let me check with you. Let me do another one here. Okay, the other one. Jeff, a bring the sodas to the party, okay? You see, bring, bring the sodas to the party. In this one, guys, is imperative because I'm using a verb, right? What is the verb here? The verb is bring, bring. Mm. exactly. So you see, I'm saying, I'm saying an imperative, I'm explaining an imperative, but it's in that direct message. Like if I have Jeff in front of me, but this is the case that I don't have Jeff in front of me. So I need to like construct it in a indirect way. So how guys, according to the example that we have seen, can somebody help me and tell me how we can construct this one into a direct request using infinitives? Mm -hmm. Can you tell Jeff bring the soda to the party? Can you tell Jeff, okay, bring the soda or to bring the soda? To bring the soda. To bring the sodas, the sodas to the party. Very good job. Excellent. To bring the sodas to the party, let me put it here, a little bit here, so we can be in the same pace. Okay, cool. Very good. Why, guys, I said to bring? Because we're talking about imperatives. Okay, so never forget that if we're talking about imperatives, it's gonna be to bring, to talk, to speak like that. And the first part, can you tell Yef? There you go. And then we have, what is the measures, guys? What is going to bring, Jeff? The sodas to the, the party. The sodas to the party, I know. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, guys. Right now, so far so good? So far so good? Yes. Yeah, Paquito, Carito, Lenny, Marianestina, Mr. Yeah. Aguirre, yeah, Kike? Kike. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, yeah, all right, guys. So now let's put in practice something. Okay, let me teach you the other two, okay? I know it's like, ugh. I know, it's grammar, I know that. But you will love it with me, I told you that. Okay, there you go. Let me erase this one. Let me erase this. There you go. Okay, guys, now let me do something. This is what I think Mr. Alex mentioned, right? I remember that. Okay, with a just no question. Um, Paquito, could you please be so kind to read for me the first question but direct message, the one that I'm highlighting right now, this one. Hey, Sophia, are you free on Friday? Okay, hey. <coughs> right? <laughs> we can use somebody here in the class. Hey, Kalena, are you free on Friday? I'm just kidding. <laughs> All righty. So that's, that is going to be, guys, the message if you have the person in front of you. But that is not the case. 
So, you see, are you free on Friday? Why I'm saying, guys, that this is a, a just no question because what is the verb that I'm using in a just no question? The verb what? To be. To be, be at least to for be, all right? To be, and also, guys, in a just no question, I also use the verb, the auxiliary. Do or does, all right? Depends. Okay, so you said, Sophia, are you fr are you free on Friday? Okay, so this is the bird to be. So now I'm going to transform this sentence into a direct request, introducing by if, guys, if or whether. Okay, no weather like the weather condition is weather. Okay, this is weather. Okay, Paquito, can you please say? The same exactly message, but as an indirect way. Okay. Can you oh. ask Sophia if she's free on Friday? Very good. Uh, so in this case, you see, with a just no question, Mr. Alex mentioned something really important. We're going to use ask. Okay. Not mm -hmm. tell. Because mm -hmm. can you ask somebody to do something? Right. And of course, we're going to use, guys, if. The if clause. Or whether you know, do you remember, guys? What that? What does it mean? Whether? What it means? What does no, it mean? No. Ya sea, ya sea que. That's what it means Either in Spanish. Si o, si o no. Exactly. Ya sea que. Exactly. Like now, let me double check and take a look at the second just no question. Um, mm, 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 Irina, can you please be so kind to read it for me? The second question. Yes, teacher. The second is, uh, could you ask her whether or not she has my number? No, I know, no, no. This one is ah. good, but I want the direct uh, message first. The one on your left side. The one okay, that says, Sophia, sorry. do you? Okay, that's good. Sophia, do you have my number? Uh-huh, very good. Sophia, do you have my number? This is a just now question. Very good. Now, yes, Irina, can you please read for me the indirect way? Okay. Could you ask her whether or not she has my number? Very good, exactly. Excellent. So in this case, guys, when we're talking about uh, messages that we have as a just no question and direct ways, and we like to transform as an indirect request, we're going to use ask. And of course, uh. if class or whether, okay, either or. Are we good right now? Yes, teacher. Are you sure? So far, so good. Okay, you're going to prove it to me later on. Okay. <laughs> and the last one, guys. And the last one with a WH questions. Remember, guys, the WH question is for informative questions, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, information, uh, we, we're asking for something that we need to have more than a simple yes and a simple no. Okay, so who can help me read it? Lenny, can you please be so kind to read for me the first one? The one that I'm highlighting right now. Okay. Jeff, when does the party start? Okay, very good. You see, when does the party start? Hey, guys, what is the auxiliary that we're using here? Does. 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 Okay. And why we're using does? What is the message? Uh, party starts. Start. Uh-huh, exactly. So in this case, guys, start, it is the main verb, right? But... What is the subject of this question? The party. The party. And this is singular or plural? Singular. Singular. Third, first, or second uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> person. <laughs> exactly. Uh huh. It is third person singular. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's why. Okay, guys, but take a look because this is a regular message. But how can I transform this one is into an indirect one? Take mm -hmm. a look. Okay, who can help me read it? Okay, Lenin, can you please continue reading? Okay, can you ask Jeff when the party starts? Very good. Also, guys, with a WS question, you also use ask you see but this is something important because of course we're going to introduce with a question word in this case if we're using when we're going to use when here 
Mm -hmm. If we're using what, we're going to use what. Mm -hmm. And that is one thing. But take a look at the first one, because in the regular masses, I'm using the auxiliary does, and the verb in, is going to be in present tense because the auxiliary already transformed the question into a third person. Is that right or wrong? It's right, yeah. right? Uh-huh. But now yeah. when I transform it into an indirect request, you see, there is no more does here. This is not here. So what happened with the mm -hmm. verb? I got to put in a third person singular, right? And I'm going to add the S at the end. When the party starts, mm -hmm. you see? So that is really important. When you transform that into a WS question, into a indirect request, you erase or forget about the auxiliary and you need to like, um, transform the birth. If you're using in a third person, you gotta put in a third person, okay? Mm -hmm. This is really important. Okay, the second one. Sophia, want, what time should I pick you up? I'm talking about you, right? Pick you up if I have you in front, but I don't have her in front. So how I'm going to construct that into indirect question? Carito, can you please be so kind to read it for me? Yes. Um, could you ask Sophia what time I should pick her up? Very good. You see, guys, also I use could you or can you. I use always ask. You see, we have what time should I pick you up? We also start with what time. But in this case, since it's going to be, I'm not, I'm not asking that person directly. Don't say uh, what time I should pick you up. No, I'm, uh, what time I should pick her up. Okay. This is really important. Mm -hmm. Here, I was talking to you in person, but here mm -hmm. I'm not talking to you. So yeah, mm -hmm. you gotta like switch that, okay? Don't forget that. I know it's going to be like, maybe you can you can think that it's like um, a little mistake, but it's not. Mm -hmm. So you gotta be careful who you are talking to, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's it's practice something. No, nah, it's not complicated, Kike. For example, I can say, Kike, uh, mm. when are you going to have your uh, vacation? Okay, I'm asking you because I'm talking to you right now directly. Oh, oh, well, so you, oh, well, let's just pick, okay, because that's the one that you like, uh, think that it was hard, but it's not. Okay, uh, Kike, um, at what time can you pick me up? Okay, I wanna, at what time can I pick you up tomorrow morning? For example, right? Mm -hmm. I'm asking you because you are face to face to me, but pretend that you are not face to face for me. And I have to leave you a message with Alex. Okay? So I can say, um, Alex, can you ask Kike at what time can I pick him up? Mm -hmm. See him, him, have him be, be, exactly because you are a man, first of all. And the mm -hmm. second one, and indirect request, I'm not talking to you anymore, you are not there. And I have to leave a message uh, uh, to you, but I had to that leave it person. to Alex, exactly. And mm -hmm. Alex will give the message to you later, you see. Mm -hmm. So that's why, if for example, mm -hmm. I was asking Kalena. She's a girl, so it's going to be her, right? Mm -hmm. I can say, Alice, could you please ask Kalena at what time can I pick her up? Mm -hmm. Because it's a girl. Pick him up if it's a boy. Okay? Okay, teacher. That's really important. Pick All right. Up. Yeah, pick up. Pick them up if there is a group of people. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That is... Paquito, that is one way to use the phrasal verb pick up. I got you. Mm -hmm. But we have 18 ways to use it. Oh my God. Yes, yeah. only for that one, right, Alex? <laughs> yes, so I'm, go I'm teaching you only one way right now. I don't want like to have like a migraine or something like that. No way. Okay, guys. So. I'm going to, it almost over, almost, you see, almost over. Can you imagine? Time passed really fast. I told you guys that grammar with me, you will love it by heart. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, 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 come on, Alex. 
<laughs> yeah, the, all right. This is what I'm going to do. La envidia, teacher. Why, Kiki? Sí, porque le apasiona la gramática. I love it, Kike. You cannot imagine. I love it. I ¿Cómo love se dice it. De, de, el envidio? I envy you. I envy you. I envy you. I envy you. Nah, but you will love it with me, Kike. I know. For sure. Well, right now, so far so good, Kike, or not? Huh? Kike. So far. So far so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Kike. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't. You don't sound like too convinced, but you will see. You will see that it's really easy, peasy, queasy. Uh, right oh, now, I need practice. Yes, exactly. I need practice more. Exactly. Every so this day. is every day, and and you know what? That will be your goal. But since you want to practice every day, guys, this is what we're going to do. Okay, I'm going to send you something. Tell me as long as you receive it. Do you receive it, guys? Yes? Let me see. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah? Okay. This is yeah. what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I want yes. you guys to... Uh, those sentences that I sent it to you, they were different. Mm -hmm. They could be mm -hmm. like imperative. There are just no questions. There are statements. There are um, WH questions. All right, whatever. Okay, so what I want you to do, guys, is to transform these questions or these statements into indirect request okay that's what i want you to do and <laughs> that is going to be right in practice because tomorrow guys we are going to play between us how can we send indirect messages okay but don't but you have to be nice guys okay we're going to play with that WhatsApp and everything to send message to somebody, and that person needs to send a message to somebody else like that. Yes, Kike. We can we, we can play Kahoo. We can play Kahoo. Um, yeah, yeah it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. It's a possibility, but depends. Depends if, if you're doing well on the practice, on the speaking practice. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> all right trying. guys you're trying yes guys tomorrow what we're going to do we're going to write guys five unusual requests for your partners and you're going to pass it okay you're going to pass it and somebody has to like take the message and then give the message to the other person okay we're going okay. to do like speaking that's why guys i want you to practice right now uh as the homework i want you to practice Try to put it the same sentences that I sent it to you. How many there are, guys? Five or six? I think six, right? Eight. Eight? Eight. Um, oh, me apologize. Eight. Oh, okay, two more. <laughs> but it's much better. Okay, so try to practice them and transform them into indirect requests with all what we have seen so far. And tomorrow we're going to put them in practice, okay? Okay. Okay, okay guys, any questions, any doubts? Feel free to ask me right now. No? No. no, okay. Hi, Paquito. Hi, Paquito. Yes, uh, I, I was, I was reading to the uh, to the homework, and for example, the number one say, Nina, would you drive us uh, to the party on Friday? So I have to invent another way just to make the no indirect uh, request. No? no, no, no. You need to use exactly the same information. <laughs> I only convert the sentiment. Uh -huh. Aha, you have to, exactly. Could you need to use could you tell? Can you tell? Could you ask? Can you ask? And all the possible situations. So you gotta figure it out. If it's imperative, it's a statement, it's a WH question, it's a just no question. I don't know. Yeah, you see. <laughs> uh, Alex, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, Tomorrow, I, to... I will have a heavy day. You have... nah, don't worry. <laughs> okay, I gotta say bye bye because I gotta go to the other group. So, yes, thanks. Okay. And kisses. Good night. 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 Good night.